What's nine? It's um those the remember we would have those meetings at school? Yes. And they would pull you out of class, the diag, they'd have your teachers in there. Yes, I remember that. Mm-hmm. And that was what, twelve years of well, however long it is from kindergarten till senior year. Twelve years. And you had those arts. He never showed up. Never came to one of those arts. And, you know, they would track your progress. So you started out in special ed. And then they moved you to 504. Which is a good thing. You know, that means you needed less accommodations. Less modifications for work. In class. Oh, and then you... I think at, you started with an inclusion teacher, and I don't think you liked that, where a teacher would come into the classroom and, like, come by you. Didn't you have that? Like, when you were back in middle school or elementary, a teacher would come in. Yeah, I remember that. Yes, I remember that. I hate that you hated the teacher, or you just hated the fact that somebody was coming in there and, and kind of isolating you? Like, why is he getting that help? What is, is that no, what it was? I remember that. I remember the teacher who was saying Oh, you just didn't like the teacher art. What was that? It was uh, admission, review, and dismissal. So you get admitted into the program, they review, and then they dismiss you from it. <laughs> so it's an art meeting. Yeah. So I thought you just didn't like the fact that you were being isolated. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, but eventually you didn't need any more. Mm-hmm. You didn't need any more. Um, you didn't need any more inclusion teachers. Yeah, it's really, yeah, middle school was one of the worst years of my life. I know, middle school was tough. It, 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 was, it was bad. Right. And then you um, didn't have any friends until Peyton. That was seven, that was seven grades when first, I believe it was when it first started. Yeah. Yeah. But um, those first two years were awful. Eighth grade got better because it, I guess it was just because it was the last year. But right. Those first two years were like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you didn't have any friends. Yeah. I remember you came to me in middle school. I think, what was that? It was a video game that you wanted to play. Shooting game. Uh, and Call, I, I was, Call of Duty. Call of Duty or... I don't, it's another one. It's another one. It's not Call of Duty. It had to be. Mm-mm. No, because I got that in like high school. No, yeah, no, it was called... It was, I, I, it's a name. I just don't remember what it, what it was. I don't remember. Dark Knight, Fork Knight, Fort Fortnite. Is it Fortnite? Fortnite. Fortnite. Yeah, Fortnite. That's what it is. Dark Knight. <laughs> Fortnite. And you were like, Well, they're always sitting at the table talking. I don't have anything. You wanted me to let you play it. Mm-hmm. And I was concerned because I'm like, it has guns and then you already have this type of mental, you know, um, what'd you call it? Mm-hmm. You already have this superpower going on in your brain. And I just didn't know how that was gonna affect you. But I allowed you to play it. And you, you've been fine. Like, you're still, you never turned angry and mean and you were still sweet. No, because you know that pe- it can influence people. Those video games, just like music, can influence people. So don't give me that face. <laughs> yes, you know it. But you didn't have that, you don't have that type of demeanor. Anyway, you just wanted to, and then you just wanted to fit in. And then you came to me and you were like, well, I don't know how to talk to people. You remember when I bought you that? Sentence stems to show you how to start conversations. It was a box. I don't even think you really use it. It was like you con- still have it? we should. It should be upstairs. It was conversation starters, mm-hmm. and it was like, well, because you were like, I don't know how to converse, have conversations with people, or you know, keep up a conversation. And then it's yeah, I re- oh yeah, I have a whole oh yes, I do. I remember. You remember, and then um, it would say things like, "How was your weekend?" I said, "Just ask people, how was your weekend." Mm-hmm. And then actually listen to what they say to see how you can relate to that. Mm-hmm. And then offer something that, you're, that you can relate to it. Mm-hmm. Why are you rolling your eyes like that? No, because each, cause the thing is I would do that. And but then there's what? nothing I could relate to. So That's right. Because you were just different in your own world. You didn't mind being alone. Because so, you just didn't get into all the things that other, stu- other kids got into. Mm-hmm. And then there was dances at school. I went to those. You did go to those. Mm-hmm. Did you dance? <laughs> Not really. Maybe, sort of. Mm-hmm. Sort of. I mean, you can dance a little bit. You got a little... I don't. I can't dance. No, you can't. Thank God. I was just trying, trying to be kind. Mm-hmm. No, you have no rhythm. But um, what about girlfriends? No. Oh, 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 no. Absolutely not. No, you didn't really have girlfriends, but you liked girls. 
I like girls, yes. You did. Yes. You did do that, but it was still awkward. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. It was still awkward for you because sometimes you would inappropriately want to address girls and not in a negative way. Like you don't just walk up to a girl and be like, yeah, you want to be my girlfriend? That's what, I, don't, I don't know. I did not do that. No, I'm just saying that. You, no, you didn't. I had, I had to stop you from, you know, not being inappropriate in a, in a negative yeah, way, but you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah, Cause the dad was always trying to give me advice talking about, Oh, was trying to give me advice and all that. And I was, right. Maybe, maybe I was trying to copy what he was talking about, but. Right. Yeah, but then after, after all that, I, I dropped it. Yes. I'm never going to talk about who it was or what you did, but that's what I'm saying. It's like you didn't understand social cues. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then. I'll say, um, I guess, I would say high school was okay. Yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't. Too bad. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, space, like you would get real close to my face and I'd have to tell you to back up. Like when you would talk to me and I think up till last year, you were still doing it. You've gotten better now, mm -hmm. but like you would get really, really close and just talk to me. I'm like, son, arm's length, space. Mm -hmm. So those are just some of the things that you know, made you different, like mm -hmm. understanding social cues, understanding people's space, understanding, you know, that you don't just walk up to everybody and just, hey, hi, how are you? We had to train you on money and debit cards and just the basic things of a teenager. How's it been for you with that label, so to speak? Do you like feel different? Do you feel, do you like wake up and be like, I'm autistic? <laughs> no, I have ADHD. I, I mean, I know I am, but I don't go around like. You know that you are. What does that mean to know that I am? I know that I am. I, I mean, like. Do you wonder why you're like that, or where it came from, or something like that? No, I, I just. I mean, I know it. it's just I don't go around just. I just don't dwell on it. I just okay. I'm just like okay. Okay, but do you feel some kind of way? No, I just. You just yeah. It just is. It, it just is, and like like you said, I do zone out in class. I do. Um, Thank you. I thought. See what yeah. I'm just saying. Admit it, bro. I mean, <laughs> I, ne I never not admitted it. Well, you gave me that look like. Yeah, I I, I zone out. I do um, like it does take me a while because. You have to speak to me in a. Very interesting way to, actually, to keep your attention. You have to speak to me in like a very you don't have you can't just ramble on with me. With me, you can't just it can't just be someone that rambles on and that, on. It you just, you just have to you gotta, get to the point. Like, get to the point. Well, the I wish you would have told me that four years ago. Uh -huh. You just now telling me that, bro. What four years ago for what? Like when we would have start having real conversations. Let me know that you need me to get to the point. Now you tell me. Like, well, now you know. Now I know, but you, you're 19. Yeah, but with me, I'm just saying, you just, you just can't just ramble on and on and on. That is true. I do. I notice that now. It's yeah, like, I, I, like when me and you have conversations and we talk, I have to remember, okay, you're not my buddy. You're not my partner. You're Jaden. Get to the point. Unless it's a real really interesting conversation it has to be like really something really interesting for sure but we really have really good conversations yeah we do i like talking to you yeah and and like i'm saying this that type of stuff that dad doesn't care about or wants, wants to understand right it's like it's like he just doesn't know me truly or want to know right i just like that you're advocating for yourself and you know what advocate means, right? Like support yourself. Maybe? Support yourself. Take up for yourself. Clearly state your needs, and not just accepting the needs of others. Mm -hmm. Making sure that you know there's mutual, you know, needs being taken care of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you need something for you, whether it's emotionally, physically, financially, whatever the case may be, you advocate for yourself. Basically, be your own voice. You know how sometimes children that are being abused 
can't speak up for themselves. They have an advocate, somebody to stand in the gap and speak for them. Am I rambling? Are you listening? Or did you go to another space and place? Yeah, you said you said that I like that I'm advocating for myself, supporting, supporting mm -hmm. myself, standing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just testing you to see where you were. Mm -hmm. If you were still amongst us. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's been a great ride, bro. Mm -hmm. You're about to graduate from your film school in January. Yeah. No more testing, no more star testing. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. Which almost took you out of this planet, it seemed like, because that was rough. Yeah. Did, did, was it because I, I kept, because you failed, you had to repeat, do it again? 